What is up guys, Doc Redstone here with another Minecraft video tutorial for you guys. Uh, today I have a decimal binary counter, and uh, if you have no idea what this is or what a binary counter is, uh, check out the description. I have a link to Cube Hamster's video on binary. But anyway, this is just a simple binary counter, and I'll go ahead and reset it real quick. Um, and this will only work in the newest snapshot, as you can see I'm playing in 12w30b. And uh, this actually will work in 1.2.5 on the 0 and 2 axis, but because of the piston fixes in uh, 1.3, it also works on the 1 and uh, 3 axis. So I'll go ahead and show you both of them working, just so you know I'm not uh, talking on my ass. So anyway, if we go ahead and press it, you can see it'll count. Press it again, as you can see, and there is somewhat of a delay to um, the displays and that is because of the way that you have to uh, power these in uh, 1.3 so anyway uh, I'm not gonna make you guys suffer through it but you can see it's working um, and if I come over here and uh, press this right here see it also works no mods nothing just playing in the latest snapshot um, so anyway as you can see that counts as well um, and the reason you have to have this purple line the way it is, um, instead of like this purple line, is because I will show you. If I go ahead and press this right here, you can see that they all pushed it up, but as soon as uh, it got pushed up, um, they all, um, all the pistons extended. And that is because in uh, the latest snapshot, if you take a block, like so, and uh, you push power into it, and um, if you push power into the block, it's now powering this block right here, which powers the piston head, which powers the piston. And uh, that's just a new feature in 1.3 where uh, powering a piston head will actually power the piston itself. Um, so anyway, that's one of the changes to the pistons. So that's why this won't work, because as you can see, they're all extended. And uh, no, matter, ugh, no matter how many times I press this button, um, this will not... Uh, move any of these blocks or allow them to move. Uh, however, this method does because uh, while the one tick pulse is being emitted, this torch which powers this whole line is being turned off and uh, allows um, the piston to uh, retract before it powers this again so that there's actually a block dis distance. Um, also, you want to put uh, redstone repeaters here. If you put redstone uh, dust right there, you'll actually create a bud switch and uh, you don't want to have that for your creation so definitely make sure these are repeaters as well um, it's pretty simple to build I'll show you guys how to build it real quick I uh, will start off with the red label layer real quick um, so you're gonna want to start make two blocks in the center of the two blocks place a sticky piston and place a block on top of the sticky piston I'm gonna place some dust here and a block there or a button there and a repeater here just like so. Make sure the repeater stays on one tick. Then you're going to place a piston, a space, piston, space, piston, space. Um, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put down the purple layer like so. On each of these purple layers you're going to want to put a uh, repeater. And then on top of each of these you're going to want to put some wool. Just like so. And so now this will uh, count for you just fine. Not a problem. Um, however, you have no way to read the outputs. And so if you do want to go ahead and read the outputs, you want to place a block right here, right next to this uh, dust right there. You want to place a redstone torch. On top of the redstone torch, a block, and then a block to the side. So you have a little shape like this. And then you just want to carry this all the way down to the last piston and place blocks lining up with these cyan and then you want to place a whole layer of redstone dust and next to each layer of redstone dust you want to place a repeater and don't worry about modifying the ticks and then you can um, on this side go ahead and place um, your redstone torches now if you want to um, place dust or place another way to get power out of it don't place dust because once again they'll create a bud switch so you're also going to want to put repeaters on the side if you want to do that and uh, that way it just gets rid of the bud switch and now you can actually pull power out of this side as well and uh, put it into a line for a uh, decimal display or however you want to do it um, so now if I press these you can see as well 
it'll go up and it'll start counting again and of course only the correct repeater that corresponds will turn on and then you can connect those repeaters to whatever line you feel like it um, so anyway guys thanks for watching this has been Doc Redstone please rate comment subscribe thanks guys peace out